G'day, I'm Martin Levins. We're looking at the applications of computational thinking in science, technology, engineering and maths, STEM. Okay, so in the previous uh, shot, we had a look at Pong, which is supplied uh, with Scratch, it comes with Scratch, and we saw that there are scripts attached to both the ball, which is a little bit more complex than the one which is attached to the paddle. But this time what I want to do is to introduce this little thing here. And this is made by SparkFun Electronics in uh, Colorado, in the US. Uh, it used to be called a Pico board. Now available through Little Bird Electronics, littlebirdelectronics.com from Hornsby in New South Wales if you don't want to get it from overseas. It's a fairly simple um, bit of business. It comes with a USB connection. I'm using a short lead here for the day. You can use a longer one if you wish, and it has a number of inputs. And those inputs are an audio input, a microphone basically, a press button input, a light input to have low light or high light, and it also has a slider, sort of like a game machine. And what I'd like to do is to use this slider. A bit later on we're going to use these inputs. I'm not going to worry about them for the moment. This is really nice, easily handled, even by young kids. There's no electrical problems. The maximum you've got here is a couple of dry cells worth of uh, voltage, like a couple of AA batteries. There's no real issue uh, there at all. So I'm going to plug this in to the USB on my computer. And go back to here and pose my problem. At the moment, X is set to mouse X. So as soon as I start the flag, I can move the paddle by moving the mouse. Pretty straightforward. Well, what I'd like to do, as I've said, is to use this to move the mouse forward and backwards. So let's see what this does. Let's plug um, it in. It's already in. That's great. And go to sensing here and look at the slider sensor value. Now as soon as we click on that it's going to ask us if we want to view that on the stage. We do. And as we slide this forward and back we're going to see that the slider sensor value is going between 0 and 100. You can make this a little bigger by just uh, right clicking on it or control clicking if you prefer that and using a large readout. And as I move this forward and back I now go from 100 back down to 0 back up to 100, back down to 0. Now my problem is this. As you can see by this readout down here, where I've just clicked, the paddle goes between an X value of about 230 or so to negative 230 or so. So how do I convert a number that you can see up here which goes between 100 and 0 to a number that's between minus 230 and plus 230 to mouse x, set it to the sensor value, which is straightforward. And then when we click, that's still going to work fine, but I can't get it to go back any further than there, because there is 0, and I need to make it go back further. So just that you think about that for a minute or two. So here's our problem. The slider, which is shown on the left there, gives values between 0 and 100 with 50 at the midpoint. Yet the screen, or the paddle in this instance, is expecting values roughly minus 200 through to plus 200. I've just made the numbers a little bit simpler here because you can also see that the paddle is quite a large object and minus 200 will probably mean that it will go all the way to the left and plus 200 will mean it will go all the way to the right anyway. So we're going to map those two. We're going to map the left hand side, the 0, 50 and 100 to minus 200 to 0 to 200. So there's our map. How do we get from the left to the right? We can't just multiply, we can't just divide, we can't just subtract because if we subtract something from 100 it's not going to map to 100. So it looks like we're going to need to do some sort of two-step operation. 
And largely with kids, I get them to just perhaps about and give them a hint if they need it that it's going to need two steps. So you're going to need to do something to the numbers and then something else to the numbers, but it's going to have to be the same thing that you do to all of the numbers. So let's take 50 from each of these. And what does that give us? Well, the 0 take away 50 gives us minus 50. The 50 take away 50 gives us 0. And the 100 take away 50 gives us 50. Now, I think you can see now that what we've got is a bunch of numbers that were all positive are now going in a positive and negative sense. And the 50 has gone to 0, which is what we wanted at the middle of the screen. And it's a short step from there to multiply these things by the same number, by a constant, and give you the numbers that you're after. So we've translated numbers from 0 to 100, the variable from 0 to 100. We've subtracted a constant from that. We've multiplied the result by another constant, and we've ended up with the numbers that we want. OK, so now that we know how to do the arithmetic, we've got to do something with this sense of value before we can put it in to where it says set x. So I'm going to pull that out. I'll get rid of this because it's distracting. Remember, we needed to first of all subtract 50 from it. So I'm going to go up to my operators here. And in the operators, I can see a subtraction thingy. So I'll stick the sense of value into there. And what I want to do is to subtract 50 from it. I'll just type a 50 into there. So now my slider sensor value is being subtracted by 50. The next thing I needed to do is to multiply it by 4. So I'm going to take the whole of that thing, move it so that it's a little bit easier to see, and multiply that by the number 4. And then take the whole of that thing and say, set the x to that. And now let's see what happens. I'm going to press go. And I'm now moving across the full range. And you can see that when my thing gets to zero, it's actually at minus 200 or so. When it gets to in the middle, 50-ish, it's zero as far as the screen is concerned. Whoops. And across to there. So I've now accomplished what I needed to do and done some, for little fellas, some quite interesting uh, arithmetic uh, to try to get them to work out what to do to turn one number, or a series of numbers, into another number.